Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be doing a drugstore everyday glam makeup look for you guys for, you know, the back to school season. So I really hope you guys like this video and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face with the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lotion. And I also use coconut oil as well to moisturize my body as well as my face. So to prime my face today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing face primer which you can find at Ulta majority of the stuff in this video you guys are going to be able to find at Ulta or Walmart and I'm just focusing majority of the product in the center of my face and then I'm going to spread it out onto the rest of my face and then to prep my face I'm using the Mario Badescu cucumber and green tea spray I really like this spray because it makes my makeup melt into my skin instead of like just sitting on there and looking like makeup it gives it more of a skin like feel to it and the spray also helps with reducing fine lines and moisturizing your skin for foundation I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal true match super blendable foundation and I really really love this foundation because it's like an everyday foundation and skin like medium coverage so your skin still shows through a little bit but you can build up the coverage to cover up some spots that you don't want to show through your makeup so it is buildable and I really love this foundation so yeah that's what I'm gonna be using and then to blend this foundation out I'm using my real technique body complexion sponge and I really like this sponge because it's bigger than the regular real technique complexion sponge and it covers more grounds so it blends out your foundation in like a second so I really really love this sponge so I'm going to be using this sponge to blend out my foundation now to highlight up under my eyes I'm using the LA girl pro concealer in chestnut if you guys are familiar with my channel I've been using this concealer for years so basically this concealer is like my ride or die this is also the concealer that I use for my brows and if you guys are interested in a brow tutorial I just did a new one so I'll link that one in my cards so you guys can see how I do my brows um but yeah I use this concealer for my brows and my face it just does it for me and the price is right even though the price is going up a little bit you know LA girl what you doing but no, I love this concealer and I will always come back to this concealer because, you know, it's just bomb. So, yeah. And the brush that I used to apply my concealer was my MAC 242 brush. This is also the brush that I used to do my brows. And then to blend out my concealer, I used the Real Technique Complexion Sponge. Not the big one, but I used the smaller one. Now to set my under eyes, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. And this powder is only $8. The only thing that I don't like about this powder is that it's a little bit too light for me. I need it to be a little bit deeper, but I can still work with the powder and I'm gonna show you guys how I work with it and tone it down a little bit um, but this is a really great powder for the price so yeah that's a good thing I'm just gonna take it up under my eyes and take it around my mouth because you guys know around my mouth area likes to crease so I have to set that into place so it does not do that now to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I really love this powder. It's really inexpensive and it does the job. It gets the job done and my makeup literally lasts all day. So I really like this powder and I think you guys should get your hands on it. If you've been looking at it sideways, don't look at it sideways, girl. Just go ahead and pick it up because I love it to set my face makeup. And like I told you guys, the banana powder is a little too light for my skin tone. So I like to take my face setting powder and dab it up under my eyes just to tone down the color. If that makes any sense at all. And then to contour my face, basically bring back out my features, I like to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. You guys know this is my ride or die product. I've been using this for literally like a year straight. I have not put it down, but I'm trying to try out more products. So hopefully in the near future, I will find a new contouring powder but I really like this powder but until then this is not going anywhere okay okay 
for blush today i'm not actually going to be using a blush i'm actually going to be using a bronzer um and this is the queen collection bronzer in the color ebony bronze if i'm not mistaken and i like this bronzer but it's too red on me like if i look at the perimeter of my face which is where you normally put bronzer that area looks so red so this bronzer picks up a little too red on my skin tone so i like to use it as a blush and it just works Okay, now that my face is basically done, I like to go in with my Mario Badescu spray. And then right before it dries all the way down, I like to go in with my highlight, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Crown of My Canopy. But I really like to do this because it makes my highlight look more glowy and dewy. So that's what I normally do. And then after I'm done with putting on my highlight, I like to dab it into my skin with the Real Technique sponge because it makes it look like I'm glowing from within instead of powdery like it's sitting on top of your skin so i just like to use the sponge to like press it into my skin if you guys get what i'm saying okay for mascara i'm going to be using the l'oreal voluminoso lash paradise mascara and i really really like this mascara right now because girl it makes my lashes look like i have falsies on but i'm still gonna put falsies on but for the people that don't want to put on falsies this is a great mascara so i'm just gonna apply a few coats to my lashes and then i'm going to put on some vaseline because i couldn't find my actual chapstick so for you guys that don't want to put on lashes this is the finished look i really hope you guys like it and for you guys that want to wear lashes i'm going to be wearing the shayla lashes if that's the name make sure you guys check the description box because i'm not sure if i'm saying the right name of the lashes in this voiceover Okay, so after you put on your lashes and the lash glue has dried completely, I like to go over my lash band with a gel liner. The one that I'm using in this video is from Tarte, but I really like the L'Oreal, um, I'll put the name down below in the description box, but I really like the L'Oreal gel liner. They both do the same thing. Just find a gel or liquid liner that you can go over your lash band with because sometimes the glue does not dry down completely clear. And then for my lips, you guys know that I have a love for glossy lips so i'm going to be using my l'oreal color rich lip gloss in the color rich rose and then on top of that i'm going to put my mac lip glass because it wasn't giving me that glassy look that i freaking love so i just put my mac lip glass on top of it all right you guys so this is the finished look i really hope you guys like it and i hope you guys have a great year back to school great year back to work you know whatever you're doing you know i hope you have a great year <laughs> don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel it's free so yeah i will see you guys in my next video